Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and I'm really excited to bring you something new today. Um, it's something that I've put together that I think would be useful to everyone and I'm calling it a prepper handbook um, for SHTF disaster preparedness. You guys can rename it something else um, if you want to just call it an emergency guidebook or something like that. That's up to you. But what I'm doing is I have put everything in here that I think would be good for you to prioritize in the event of an SHTF. Um, I think a lot of us would react poorly in an SHTF situation. We may begin to panic. We're not going to be thinking clearly. And so I feel like this would be a good way for us to have everything in one location. Just grab this book and then you're going to have your list and know exactly what it is that you need to start doing depending on what the um, event is. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of this book. You are going to see this book again in um, future videos as I go over some of these things in depth. But today I just kind of wanted to introduce it to you and get you guys thinking about something that maybe you guys could create. Um, maybe looking at this as a template for something that you want to do for your families. Um, I have a table of contents in here. I have a section for prepping for chaos in the streets, um, one on prepping for nuclear attack, one on prepping for bugging out for local and national threats, and I've broken those down into a couple of categories there. For us here in Colorado, our greatest local threat would be a fire. Yours may be something different. Um, it could be a tornado or it could be um, a hurricane, I don't know. Um, in the event that you would have to leave your home, most of you are probably gonna be bugging in for those though. I also have on here a national threat, like um, in a situation where the chaos is so great that you can't save your home and you need to leave. I have um, a section on prepping for a natural disaster, bugging in, and then ours um, would be a personal prep for us is um, snowstorms here. Most cases, they're all gonna involve um, some sort of uh, utility disruption though so that's why I have that section in here you guys can tailor it to your needs and then I have put in here some quick tabs so I have I can get to these sections a lot faster I have um, the chaos all of these are just kind of labeled so you can flip to each one um, but I kind of wanted to show you what I've done and we're not going to go over each of these like I said we'll talk about them later but I have prioritized the order of events that we would need to um, do things in in our home and then what else I did is I created a sheet for each of my kids and then for my husband and myself with what we would need to do and I feel like this is going to kind of keep the kids busy as well so they're not um, freaking out that much they might still be but at least it'll kind of keep them a little bit busy while you're trying to get other tasks done um, and for your younger ones you can give them just something as simple as grabbing their go bag and then running um, to whatever location that you want them in and then your older ones you can give them a couple extra tasks like maybe helping you move some lighter items and then watching your younger one and many pets that you have and then after we get out of these sections I also put another couple of sections in the back for you guys. Um, this one I put, it's called um, SHTF Recipes. I think that would be a good section um, because a lot of the stuff that we make um, uses fresh ingredients. And so I just kind of put down recipes that I think that I make now that I could tailor to more of um, long-term food prep things that I have stored and kind of redo some of these. Um, I'm not going to want to be trying to figure out recipes in SHTF, so it's kind of nice to have this little reference guide for things that I currently make. I also put, um, there's a couple other ones in here. This thing is going to be growing with me. I'm definitely going to be adding things as we go along. Um, this one is just how to make homemade Dutch oven bread. So when you don't have a working oven you can um, make bread inside of that and cook it on um, an open um, flame of some sort. I also have a section in here called SHTF medical and before I get started in this one I just want you guys to know that none of this is medical advice. Um, if you have those questions you need to consult with a medical professional. 
But what I have done is um, I stored some antibiotics for my family. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have done the same as far as uh, fish mocks and other things like that. But what I did is I went to this website called drugs.com and it kind of breaks down these drugs for you, um, gives you important information, tells you what it is, what happens if you miss a dose, what the possible um, side effects are, especially you know, the ones that are requiring immediate attention, the ones that are less severe. And then the other thing it does is it goes into um, the different things that you can treat and then the dosages. So it'll have all the different dosages and um, it has it for the adults and then it also does it for the children. So I think that's something that you guys should do. Um, something else you could put in this section would be something like um, your dosages for potassium iodide in the event of a nuclear event. Um, I have also, if I can get to it, it's taking me a second, sorry. I also have a page in here that I have included for my dog. I have some of her antibiotics stored as well. And so I have just a quick reference there. I got it actually off of um, one of the bottles that I had kept um, where she had taken this before. That is the most common medication they use to treat um, dogs with bacteria overgrowth and stuff that's causing diarrhea and vomiting. So I just threw that in there as a quick reference for myself. Um, I also printed off some stuff on wound care that I threw in here. I think that's important to have as a reference. And then I also had some stuff on um, the Heimlich maneuver so I could look at that really quick and then um, how to set a bone. So I think I think that's kind of important stuff that we need to know. Um, I know none of us want to be faced with anything like that and have to make those sorts of decisions but I would rather have something that kind of guides me through it than me trying to blindly fumble through it. Um, and I'm sure there's lots of other guides and stuff out there that you guys can look at. But this is just something that you can put together on your own. And I feel like it's a good jumping off place for you guys. Something to get you guys thinking about. Um, and that we should all have in our preparedness package. Um, if you've learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless.